Hey guys, we've been playing Assassin's Creed all week long, and you've seen us go through some of the campaign, but today we're actually going to jump into the co-op. So, Eric's and Optical Matrix are standing by to take you through a mission, and what's this one all about? So the premise of this one is that the Templars are kind of controlling the food supply in this town, and this lady here, she is rebelling against them and trying to sort of like, you know, take them out and then restore order and bring back the food supply to these, uh, these guys. So this is the start of the mission. You actually have multiple objectives and it's actually meant to be played with four people, but Alex and myself decided we're gonna tackle it as a pair. Now, as I was saying, you actually have multiple objectives and the first one is to find um, clues as to the whereabouts of the lady we mentioned before. She's left loads of different clues to, um, to the location she's hiding at, so it's our job to find those clues and locate them. And they're also hidden in, you know, there's like, there are two of them at the moment, so we could either divide and, you know, both of us tackle them at the same time, or alternatively, as you see here, we're working together, so that way we can... Probably because it is a pro player, I think it'll make sense. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. Some of the enemies are quite challenging, especially when you do that. And then what you're seeing here, we're on the next stage of the mission. We found the two clues, and we're now working our way towards where the lady's located. She's actually inside that building. And the cool thing about this is there are kind of multiple ways you can tackle these these missions. So we can either go in through that balcony on the top level, or we can go around the back and go through the door as well. So you know, we can sort of tackle the uh, the mission in different ways. Now that we've found her, I'll be getting some pretty good combat. Uh, you can probably tell that we look very different when we're using two different weapons. What's interesting is that in this mode, um, if you did see the uh, customization video that we had up the other day, um, each character that you, you create individually, you can bring into the co-op, so no two characters will be the same. And that creates some pretty interesting combat scenarios. And which one are you, uh, you guys, in this one? Uh, I'm the red one, the cool-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the uh, the peasant. It looks like you guys cool. are going for the same yeah. target right here. <laughs> yeah, he stole my kill there. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, we had to go and take down five targets. This was the next stage of the mission. We had to take down five targets, and I kind of took out all of them. I lost out on uh, 100 <laughs> creep points to Eric. Uh, Eric, so you should be... Uh, Pretty ashamed of yourself. So we're now moving forward again to the next part. So so right now, now we've rescued her, we've now got to follow her, and this is sort of, you know, this is the kind of the, the bulk of the mission. We have to kind of like escort her along the way. And, and she sort of forth. joins in, in the battle, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she sort of like marks the target. So these are two that we have to take out before we get to Templars. <laughs> So as we mentioned before, obviously this mission is meant to be taken on by four people, but me and I obviously took it on by ourselves, and what is good is that our individual weapon setups are really helping us here, because usually we'd obviously be sworn by these brutes, but the fact that we both have heavy weapons is really helping us out. So it looks like you're into some heavy combat there, and you are only two people, but what's good about obviously the co-op is that you get to help each other out. Yeah, I actually, uh, I actually went down here, and it was uh, thanks to Optical Matrix that I uh, managed to get back up. But you do want to sort of be careful because there are certain missions where if one of your team members dies, then it actually makes you start the whole mission again. So when they do go down, make sure you prioritize getting them back up and obviously working together. As you can see, here we are in the final phase of the mission, and what's great is that in the true essence of co-op, Arax has taken out one of the Templars, and I've taken out the other one. And then as soon as that's done, you then have to escape the area. So if you look on your map, there's like a yellow circle which indicates the uh, sort of detection zones. We then need to work together to uh, sort of get away from that. And then once you escape, that is your mission complete. Well, that's the end of the mission. We hope that you guys enjoyed co-op. And make sure that you guys check out our other Assassin's Creed videos under official upload. And of course, follow us on Twitter at Xbox Upload for all the latest.